good morning. It is stupid o'clock in the morning. I'm down here at Exeter. This is the brand new Marsh Barton station. I'm here to ride the first train as I always do. Let's go and ride that train. So like Reading Green Park, there's loads of people already here to ride the first train from this brand new station. I've got a goodie bag. This can go in my Reading Green Park bag. I love the fact that they're actually doing these bags for each one. I hope we're gonna start seeing this in more places just because it's, it's just a little bit of fun. Thirty-five years of being alive, nearly twenty years of knowing Jen, and this is what I've been reduced to carrying her cough. So currently, I'm on the long walk from platform two to platform one. I kind of feel like at this stage, I might as well have walked to Painton. Okay, I'm about an hour into this journey from platform two to platform one. I need sustenance and I'm still going. The, ra the waste incinerator is in the distance. I made it to platform one. That was a lot of my life that I'm not getting back with that walk. So before we decide that I'm, I've got no money, by the way, support me on Patreon. Apparently that's been happening to everyone this morning. So nobody's been able to buy a ticket. Have I got that right? Yeah, I want a ticket. Car, One of the notable things here at Marsh Barton is the smell. That's down to this big building here, which is the waste incineration plant, which gives off a bit of a whiff. But what do you expect from a station in the middle of an industrial area? Remember, this station is here for employment, not housing. There aren't really any local houses here. You could go for a little walk over the parkland, I'd call it. Parkland, marshland. I guess it's a marsh because Marsh Barton. I'm going to go with that. That's okay. So I'm being followed. <laughs> I'm being followed by the weird northerner. Hello. Hello. You seem to show up at these things. Apparently so. What do you think of this station? I think this station is different to all the other new stations. It doesn't feel as new as all the other new stations. It doesn't feel as new? Yeah. Because it's been sat here for quite a while, hasn't well, it? Well, yeah. But there's like no massive car park. There's no oversized EV charge points. There's yeah. no... But there's a very good reason for that. But it's not meant for that. Yeah, you, you're but never going to need to park it. It doesn't have the same feeling as all the other new ones, though, because of that. It I, actually feels like it's been here for a long while. Uh, I have the first ticket from Marsh Barton. There we go. Amazing. What are you thinking of the station? It's got its own unique charm, as in smell. It's sort of industrial, very much not industrial. It's a station of two halves. It is, yes. It's a split personality station. No, I'm now in the video properly. You have a speaking yes. cut, a hey. speaking role. Right, so we all come out to openings like this and we're all like, great, there's a station being opened. Everybody loves it. Everybody says great things about it, which is all well and good. And you know what? It's great. We are building new stations to get people out of their cars and that can only be a good thing. But we're building these stations that don't really fit in with the climate that we're living in. It's like, yes, there's a small shelter, but it's not going to handle the kind of usage you would actually like to get at a station like this. I legitimately think we need to be better at doing more than just putting platforms next to railway tracks. We need to be designing these stations for the climate that we're living in and making them legitimately pleasant places to wait for the train. Because if it's not a pleasant place to wait for the train, then you're gonna pick the car over the train. A small bus shelter isn't enough. We need to start thinking more about shade and shelter when we're building stations. It doesn't need to be expensive. It doesn't need to be impressive, but we just need a lot more shade and shelter at stations. And that's what we're missing. Where am I? Barsh Martin. While well, I'm stood here at Barsh Martin, seems like an amazing moment to say a massive thank you to my lovely Patreons and YouTube supporters. You're scrolling on screen right now. I love you guys to bits. Aww. Literally, there's a few of them over here. Hi guys. Hey, hi. Thank you for supporting me. Good. If you do want to get your name onto this list, I'd love it if you consider it. The links to do so are in the description. Thank you guys and thank you guys. And it's worth May every I have penny. Your attention, please. The first <laughs> interruption <laughs> at Marsh Barton. Yeah. Between the train come on guys, come in, come in. 
I am so glad that all of you guys come to, come to things like this because it makes the days so special. So thank you all for being here. <laughs> You've been listening to Jen on the Mush. <laughs> yeah, well, so is this going to be your second or third video in a row where you got mushy? I'm, we want more of this. We need this feature in every video yeah, now. And Jen more. gets mush. I'm saying nice things. Oh. Yeah, I'm not used to that. Right. <laughs> it's normally horrible things like, who the heck are you guys? The train is due in three minutes, so we're going to go and jump on that. Fancy seeing you here. Is that my coffee? <laughs> you got off the first train. Yeah. We're getting on the first train. Right, you better go then. I'll see you later. Yeah, we're going right. on this. Okay. Bye. 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 I want my coffee back. I want my coffee back. Go, go, go. You're not keeping my coffee. Right. I'll see you back here in a few minutes. See you in a few minutes. All right, bye. Of course, I am glad that I've got my coffee. The smell. Yeah, it is a very notable smell. <laughs> So we're on the first train to have left Marsh Barton. Somebody is relaxing. It is annoyingly for 150, but actually the GWR 150 is not that bad. According to you, it's not three plus two seating. It's two plus two, makes it good. I'm going to the seaside. That's the benefit of this opening. I'll go with honey. Summer holiday. I'm not working for it. A misty view as the sun comes up. I just love it. It's beautiful. This makes up for the Conway Valley line failing. This is literally the best day ever. I am loving just being here in Devon. Best day ever. Did you think you'd ever hear that from Jen on a day that involves class 150? Well, when you put it like that, that was a tolerable class 150. I was unoffended by that. Yeah, still 150. Honestly though, I am so lucky to be doing what I'm doing. Jen has a moment. I have found the ultimate water. I need to spend more time in Devon. That was our first look at the brand new Marsh Barton station. What a place to end a video. Sorry, I'm just... I love it. I'm coming back. But for now, I'm going to leave a link here to the next video that I think you should watch. See you next time. Am I going to be here next? <laughs>